Hi, I'm Josh Gitalis. Cholesterol is a fascinating molecule. It's the backbone of every single steroid hormone in the body, and also vitamin D, interestingly enough. We make about 85% of cholesterol in the body and consume about 15%, roughly, depending on your diet. Now, cholesterol goes through a process, a cascading process, being made into our various hormones, and there's enzymes that can turn on and turn off those different pathways. Now, when everything's in balance, it goes down these pathways the right way and doesn't cause any issues. But sometimes we can get a little bit too much going this way or a little bit too little going that way. The way the cholesterol gets directed in the body is based on how enzymes are working. One example is aromatase. Aromatase is an enzyme that can move more of that cholesterol into estrogen. But that aromatase enzyme can actually be turned on and turned off or turned up and turned down. Some things that turn it up are obesity, alcohol consumption, and being overly stressed. So you can see how those lifestyle situations can actually increase estrogen in the body. We can also look at some of the downstream effects like a hormone DHT. DHT, also known as dihydrotestosterone, is a metabolite of testosterone, but can be up to five times stronger than testosterone. Why is this important? Well, DHT can be associated with benign prostate hyperplasia. It can be associated with male pattern baldness and even male pattern baldness in females. It can be associated with higher amounts of acne in an individual. So if that enzyme, which converts testosterone to DHT, known as 5-alpha reductase, is turned up, that can create some of those issues. So what can turn down the effect of 5-alpha reductase? We get this effect from our wonderful weed known as nettles. We also get this from a berry called saw palmetto. And also flax seeds and the nutrient EGCG in green tea can help to turn down this enzyme. So we can actually control how cholesterol is processed and moved to different hormones in the body by using some of these nutrients in the right way. This is functional nutrition.